this channel. Thank you for viewing this channel. Today we're talking about um, ways that we can accompany our left hand when during worship. A lot of times people tend to ask, okay, in worship, what are the basic ways you can accompany yourself right here? There are several ways. And that is the reason for this video. I believe as you stay with me, there are a lot of things to be learned. We're going to come from the beginners to the advanced. And without wasting much time, let's dive in. All right, as mentioned in as mentioned before, we'll be looking at the, how we can accompany ourselves to your worship. Now, mm, it's common place that most of the time when we want to start, especially when we are coming up from the beginner's angle, we are meant to learn how to either play our chords on our left hand or right play the chords on the right hand, or we are told to play one hand. Now I'll be using a very simple song like Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high. The progression, the progression of the song is just Do, the Fa, Do, So, So, Do. Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high God. That's it. That's just the song. All right. Now, um, when you want to back such a song, there are several ways that we can back up our song. Number one is that we can use play notes. Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high God. Now, another way we can do that is using our, our first and our fifth. On our left hand. Remember, we are talking about the left hand. So, Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high God. Now, on the more technical note, um, another way that we can use our uh, first and fifth, or that's, is when we are using our tritones. But our tritone does not follow the regular one and five. It's actually one and flatted fifth. So let's take for example now. You are the most What I did was different video I'm going to take time to teach on tritones and how to properly manipulate them because uh, tritones to a lot of people seem very technical and sometimes when used they're not used in the appropriate way so it sounds the dissonance associated with the way people use it is so much that people don't seem to don't seem to appreciate it but there are ways that you can use a tritone that will be as if you're just playing your normal notes and it sounds also sounds very nice. All right, so back to what I was saying, a more advanced way to play your first and your fifth, but this in this time your flatted fifth is when you are using your tritones. I was supposed to go to my fifth, you know, I'm supposed to use the fifth to my so. So instead of playing just the normal fifth to so, I use my my tritones. To my soul, which is my five. All right, another way we can use our left hand in accompaniment during worship is when we use our first, our fifth, and our eighth, uh, our eighth note. That's if it's do, for example, you have do, so do. Please, for the records, I'm using key C as my case study, which happens to be the easiest key so that a lot of people can understand. So we have C, G, C. Now, I like playing my my do chord this way uh, which is just adding to the normal this is the so i added my ninth this is one two three four five six seven eight nine so i added this nine and i duplicated this g which is my so note i duplicated that's how i have this one so 
So some people like playing it once. So if I'm playing Jehovah, you are. So you see, Fa go Fa, which is F one five eight. So we are Jehovah, you are the Most High. Jehovah, you are the Most High. That's how people like breaking it. So we have when you are breaking it, it becomes like this. One five eight like that. F one five eight C one five eight G one five eight. We have Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah. And that's another way to back up your your worship. When accompanying your worship, it makes it full. All right, another way we can back up our worship, which is one of my favorite ways, is to um, use the chords. Now, um, we have the triad, which are the first three notes. Then we have a seven, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's seven, sorry. This is a major seven. This is a dominant seven. And when you add this, it becomes a minor seven. What do I mean? When you play your do, mi, so, and you add your T, it becomes a major seven. When you move from this T and you go to play the toy instead, it becomes a dominant seven. When you, when you shift from this E, to E flat becomes a minor seven. So what I do is that sometimes when I'm playing, I like playing my my seven to my left my left hand. Sorry, while I play my normal chords on my right hand. So then, okay, this one for example, now, this is a this is a major chord. That what I did was that uh, instead of playing it like this. The, the, the bass line I wanted was the third, which is the me. So instead of playing it like this, I decided to play it like this. Why I omitted the me from my right hand. So the me is duplicated on my left hand while it is omitted from my right hand, but it is still do like that always. So in your present day, this life. So sometimes I like playing my seventh on my left hand, then sometimes I like giving it this touch, this expansion, it gives it a nice open sound. Then when I want to play my far, I play like this way, I play this way. This is also F seventh. F major seventh, then G dominant seventh, maybe or I make this a thirteenth, the thirteenth chord. This is G thirteenth chord, and the ninth is duplicated on here. And it's a thirteenth chord. So I I like playing sometimes chords on both hands, and but sometimes I like playing the triad. Let's take for example now. Maybe I want to play a slash chord. This is a slash chord. I have my A minor on my left, and I have my uh, my G major on my right. This is a slash chord. And in C or in key C, this is La, and this is So. So this makes it a slash chord. So yeah. Especially when I want to do my riffs, uh, runs on my right hand, I like playing my 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 seventh chords on my left, so that I can have, so that I can be full. So you see, this is my major seventh on my left hand. Uh -huh. Because I want to play this, I have to play the full chord on my left, and this is A major seventh, which is my La major.
so that's what one of the things I do. I like playing my chords while I do my stuff. All right, another way I like accompanying myself when when playing worship is I make use of this one one five eight nine ten. This one five eight nine ten, which is do so do re mi, and it's not just for do; it is a pattern. So I play like this. Do fa so so here is do so do re mi fa is a do fa so la so is so re so la ti so do so do re mi fa do fa so la. Sorry, sorry, so Latin. So, so Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, now one thing I want to say is that. The beauty actually in playing and accompanying yourself during worship is not in playing a particular style all through the worship. The beauty lies in adding up. I always say this, the more diversified your play is, the more nicer it, it sounds and it prevents your play from being stereotyped or mono, uh, monotonous. So when I'm playing... I just play my chord in my left hand. See, I just played F, F, C, F. Instead of, I just play, and I just played my chord. I played this, I played my chord, and I'll, maybe I'm going to lie or not. Now I'm playing my, my triad. Jehovah, Jehovah. Ah. If you've not heard that before, please check out my last video. I taught all these things. Jehovah. I said there are various styles that you can use in accompanying yourself during worship. Number one is that you can play a single note and accompany yourself. Number two is that you can play the one and the fifth. Then I said uh, another way is that you can play one and a flatted fifth, which happens to be a, a tritone. And I gave a demonstration when I was going, moving, using a pass to my soul. And okay, there's something else I also do. The same tritone, on that. Ah, uh, I tend to use it. I tend to okay. I'll just make out a different video on that. I tend to use it a lot. Maybe I want to. Uh, maybe. Jehovah. Jehovah. What I did here is a tritone on my left hand. I use as a as a as a passing chord to my far. This is your me and your tall. So, so you see, I use it. Once I'm doing some stone, I like either I'm using my chord, which I mentioned earlier, or I'm using my tritones. Yeah. So single notes. One and five, then you can also play your one five eight, which is your one five and octave. It makes it full actually. Then I also said that apart from playing it together, you can also break it. Then, then 
in the last of oh, another leaf i mentioned that you can add your one five eight nine ten it's like one five eight nine ten one five eight nine ten one five eight nine ten on the different keys one five eight nine ten. i'm going to learn now one five eight nine ten ring one five eight nine ten one five eight nine ten one five eight nine ten Right, um, I think that's uh, most of the ways I back up my uh, worship when I'm playing. The one, the one and five, the tritone, the one five eight, then breaking it up, then one five, one five eight, nine and ten. So you guys just go on and and check it out and practice and use it. Remember, you have to use them interchangeably. Now there are sometimes I play it like this actually. Instead of playing it like this, I just play my chord like this. This is my laugh, for example. Instead of playing like this, I just hold it as a chord. But that's a very wide stretch, and it takes <laughs> either your hands are very long, or if your fingers, I mean, are very long, or you have you've been playing for a while, so your fingers have been stretched. My own fingers are not very long, but I've been playing for a while, so like that. And even when you want to play your stereos, your stereos, and all that. But this one is even a wider stretch. That's one, five, and minor ten. That's if I'm on la, if I'm on C, it's one, five, ten. A beautiful way to play this or do for example now all right i believe you will be able to learn something and i advise you to just practice it may not look as easy as it looks on the video you know probably you have to some of these things i have to practice them over and over and over and some people like using the shell. Maybe they play this one, then they use this one, something like that. Then they use this one, then they use the shell, the voicing. But ah, that's not part of my style, though. I use shell, but not much. All right. Um, please, if you've not subscribed before, I encourage you to subscribe because that's. It's one of the ways you can encourage me for the con to continue doing these videos. And please, if you have any video requests, please do let me know in the comment bo uh, comment the comment box. Sorry, and thank you for watching and practice. See you in the next video. Thank you.